gosh, man, did you guys see that jump? Did you see that jump? Here it comes, guys. Here it he comes. He's coming. What's going on you guys and welcome to another episode of the Pond Chronicles and today I am pond side and I'm going to show you the top four ways that I fish a Cinco stick bait but more specifically the Nico Zaza worm. You know the worm and stick baits are one of the first artificial lures I learned how to fish. It should be a staple item in my personal opinion in everybody's tackle box in some variation. Uh, today I'm going to be using four different colors of the Nico Zaza Bass Worm. And they are Mudbug, Galaxy, Fusion, and Obsidian. So in this video is actually a challenge. And the challenge was simple. Try to catch at least one bass off of every color of these Nico Zaza Bass Worms. I figured I'd use this as an opportunity to show you guys the four ways I like to fish these worm baits. So let's get out here, have some fun, enjoy this nice fall weather that's coming in because the transition is upon us, guys. Let's go see if it's feeding time. This is the six inch Nico Zaza worm in the galaxy color. I've got it rigged up Texas rig style. So let's see if we can catch a fish off of it. And this is made with the same stuff like the Helgramite. And let me tell you what, it does have a nice stink to it. Guys, one thing to remember, every time you change a, blade, change a bait up, if it's different from what you're throwing, or even when you're first starting, always check your, your brakes on your bait casting reels, because it'll save you a lot of hardship in the long run down the road from bird's nest, and it'll help you get more accurate. Y'all hear that, that scream? Man, it's beautiful. Got one, guys. First one of the day. Woo! First one of the day. He's a little guy, but hey, I'm taking it. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Guys, that was on the Texas rig. First one on the Texas rig. First catch with the new Pond Predator rod. This makes me very happy. So let's get him back in there. Let's name this one Gino. All right, Gino. Thanks for the hit. Thanks for the fight. Go get bigger. All right, guys, up next, a new worm with a new rig set up. We've got the Fusion Zaza worm here. It is rigged up on an, a quarter ounce shaky head. I can see a big cart right there in front of me just cruising. And I have not used any liquid mayhem or anything like that because all these are pre-scented. And the way to fish this shaky head is kind of just like the Texas rig. You know, you're gonna bounce it, stop, pause it. You're gonna take and drag it a little bit some too. Or if you want, you can just keep on bouncing it up and down and retrieve it. So the benefits of using a shaky head versus a Texas rig is that with the Texas rig, on my personal opinion, 
you are going to use when that bait comes down when the bait comes down on your Texas rig it's going to slide you got free movement up and now it's going to make a little bit more noise but with the shaky head it's more attached you got more free movement so when it comes down you're going to get more action this way too Got one, got one. Finally. Get him up here on the bank. Finally. Have mercy, it took a while for this one. I finally got one in, guys. There's one, there's another one. That's the third fish of the day, the first one on the shaky head. Let's get him back in there. I'm gonna call this one bees. Bees, go get bigger. Up next, we have the mud bug color, wacky rigged, but I've got a Nico weight on the end of it. So this is a Nico wacky rigged Zaza bass worm. When it drops in, you see how that the pin on it, the pin weight on the end kind of gives it here so you can say keep it here and kind of keep it tight and it'll just bounce along Yes. Got one, guys. There's another one. Add a boy. Yes. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. What do you think about that guys look right there feisty would you quit you little donkey i'm getting you back in there let's get one quick look at him again then we'll go ahead and set him free right there we're gonna call this one chris later chris go get bigger boom All right guys, last but not least is the Obsidian Zaza Worm. I've got it rigged up in a wacky Texas rig. Basically it's just a regular old wacky rig setup. Right there with a bullet weight and I'm using an eighth ounce Titan Tungsten bullet weight. You get the same action in a Texas rig, or same, it's the same philosophy as a Texas rig, except in a wacky form.
guys. Got one. Bam! Wacky rigged. Texas Wacky Rig with the Ascidian for the win. Let's look at him one more time. I'm going to name this one Nick. Thanks, Nick. Caught him on the... Oh, oh, oh. Tangled up in my line, guys. Caught him on the Wacky Texas Rig. The Obsidian. Let's let him loose. There you go. Guys, this has been one of the most fun challenges I've done yet. I wanted to show you guys four different ways to fish the Nico Zaza worm or any stick bait, Senko style bait. So first up, we had the Galaxy worm. I had it rigged up on a Texas rig style with a dicey two aught worm hook and a Titan Tungsten 8th ounce bullet weight. We were able to catch two bass off of that and had a couple other hits. Next up was the Fusion. I had it rigged up on an Arky quarter ounce shaky head that I picked up on the clearance section at Walmart. Then we had the Mud Bug. The Mud Bug was rigged up on a Nico rigged wacky hook. That is one fun rig to, to use, especially with these guys. <clears throat> we were able to lock that in pretty quick. The last one that we used was the Obsidian, and I stuck with the Wacky Rig, but I rigged it up with the Texas Rig style also, using the same 8th ounce bullet weight from Titan Tungsten on it. It completely changes the setup, the action of this of the worm. Now, the good things about this is the Zaza worms are made for two things. They are hollow bodied, so you can actually put scent in here, put some rattles in it if you want to, but it's also got the hollow body at the top where it's made more catered to the Nico style of fishing. Bottom line is, I'm loving it. Also, if you like what you saw today, hit that thumbs up button. If you had not subscribed already, go ahead and do that too. It don't cost a thing. And last but not least, if you want to be one of the first people to know when the next episode of the Pond Chronicles drops, hit that bell there on the right hand side. So until next time, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, but teach him and he'll never go hungry again. Tight lines, everybody. Later.